Today we're checking out another projector, this time the Arzen Boom 3. I want to thank them for sending this over to review on the channel. It's currently on sale for just under $300, but I'll leave a link down below with current pricing and more information. Nice thing is about this one, it's got built-in 36 watt speakers, so you could use this as a Bluetooth speaker. It also has Dolby Audio. This one also has built-in apps, so you got Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, and so on. So you don't have to mess around with connecting an external streaming device. It's got auto focus and also has 6D keystone correction where it has an angle of plus or minus 45 degrees from six different directions. This is native 1080p resolution but it also supports 4k and the brightness is 500 ANSI lumens also supports HDR10. This one also has a sealed optical engine. It's got dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.2. Fan noise is pretty low about 25 decibels. It has 20,000 to 1 contrast ratio got high fidelity 2.2 channel stereo sound pretty nice remote control it has some decent size to it you've got shortcuts down here at the bottom for netflix youtube and prime video auto focus and keystone adjustment source volume power home back button volume control and of course your directional arrows and ok button kind of nice you get a volume knob right here on the top Remote control sensor there in the front. You've got an air inlet on both sides there towards the bottom. This top portion has a fabric material that goes all the way around. All of your connections are here on the back towards the bottom. You've got a headphone jack, two USB ports, two HDMI ports, remote control sensor, power button, and of course where you plug in the power cord. Definitely has some good weight to it. Underneath you've got an adjustable foot. Nice rubber feet on the corners. You've got a threaded mount there in the middle if you want to put this on a tripod or hang it from a ceiling. Once you get everything hooked up, you may have to pair the remote control, which is pretty simple to do, and then choose your language. And you can adjust your keystone correction if you want. Mine was pretty much spot on. You can also connect to your Wi-Fi network if you want to use the built-in apps. And then on the home screen, you'll have your app shortcuts. It actually looks pretty similar to other streaming devices. This projector probably has more settings than most of the others that I've tested. You've got stuff like network, Bluetooth, input, picture, display and sound, and system. You have autofocus on here, but you can manually adjust it from the remote control as well. It also has several picture modes to choose from, although standard looks pretty good to me. And then there's a lot of other stuff like Dolby Digital or Dolby Digital Plus. You also have different sound modes you can choose from. You've got software update and restore to factory settings. Again, and probably more settings than most people would need, but still nice to have. Sometimes I know it can be hard to tell from a video showing the projector screen, but probably one of the best features of this one is the picture quality itself. I could easily tell this is one of the best projectors that I've tested recently, especially in this category or price range. It's got good details, nice contrast, plenty bright enough, and I didn't notice any parts of the screen that were blurry or out of focus. The speakers on here are sort of what I expected, really nice and loud and I didn't even need to turn this up past 25%. It also has some nice bass, which you normally don't see in more affordable projectors like this. Here's a quick sample just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. Just know that in person, it sounds much better than most other projectors I've tested. It's got the S Pen included, unlike an iPad, where you have to buy the Apple Pencil separate. It's also got a headphone jack. But I know you do want me, hurt to watch your glow eyes fade to gray, as you fade away. And then I did my usual testing, like connecting my iPad to see how it looks. And yeah, it's really nice and sharp. Text looks really good on here as well. So you could easily use this for presentations or that kind of thing if you need to. I also played mobile games like Asphalt 9 on here with my Xbox controller using Bluetooth. And it was nice and smooth as well. I didn't even notice much lag or delay during my testing. This projector would probably be a really good option for a game room. Of course, it may depend on which games you're playing 
playing, but in my testing, everything was nice and smooth. Even when testing Rocket League, which can be a problem sometimes for projectors, but not with this one. Again, really nice picture quality. I didn't notice any screen tearing or glitches during my testing. And this is probably one of the better projectors that I've tested for faster paced games. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this is mainly a 1080p projector. I can get it to do 4K resolution on my Chromecast with Google TV, but it won't allow 4K on my Xbox Series X, only 1080p, but I sort of expected that for a projector in this category. It also doesn't have the audio video jack for older devices. Not a huge deal in my opinion, but just something I thought I would point out. But this is basically an all-in-one projector. It's got really good picture quality, also has built-in apps if you need that, and it has great sounding audio to where you may not even need external speakers. Plus you can use this as a Bluetooth speaker as well. To me, it's gonna be tough to beat this projector, especially in this price range.